Hi guys, how's it going? Uh, Simon here. Today I'm going to be talking uh, about salmon flies and sea trout flies. And uh, I'm going to give a quick shout out to some of my buddies who have kind of helped me out with filling up my boxes here. Um, you know, it's great being an angler and connecting with people online and, and on the riverbank as well. Because I know what it is, but anglers are very generous, you know. And I've built up quite a collection of flies. And I don't even use half of them, but... Um, I'm just going to show you some of my salmon flies here now first, okay? So as you can see here, I've got quite a collection of salmon flies. Um, orange is a pretty popular colour amongst most salmon flies in general anyway, you know. It seems to resemble what the salmon are eating. It looks like a shrimp, you know, the orange colour. Um, I love cascades. So you can see that's a fairly heavily dressed cascade now that one that would be in uh, very high water conditions and um yeah a lot of people talk about um salmon flies and which one is the one to catch the salmon and i mean what works for me is a larger fly for higher water conditions and a smaller fly for really low water conditions so like for high water conditions something like this that's Silver Doctor. It's quite a big fly. It's on a double. And then for the lower water conditions, I'd be using something like this. A really small little, small little fly. So I'm just going to show you there um, some of the flies my mates uh, gave me there now. Like this one here now, this is a lovely fly there by Rich Adlam from Wexford. Lovely cascade with a green, green butt and a green head. Works very well. And one here given to me by my German friend Hans Eckert Wagner. As you can see, really small little fly here. But that doesn't put the salmon off. They really love these. It's a low water condition fly. Stick that back in there now again. Uh, what else do we have here now? Uh, this one here now, this is an executioner and that fly caught me the biggest salmon I ever had, 15 pound, it was a bar of silver in the month of August on the river Bandon. Nice single hook, bit of jungle cock in the cheeks, doesn't look like anything special you know, it's, but the day I used it that salmon loved it. These are a few I tied up myself. I'm only beginning in fly tying. Uh, I want to take that one for a swim now and the season opens up. On a single. I really like using single hooks. So there are my, um, my salmon flies. I'm just going to show you my sea trout fly box now next. So I have a nice uh, kind of selection there of different kind of flies. They all basically have a silver body. You know, that's what a lot of sea trout flies have in common. They have the silver body. Um, I had a batch of these flies tied up by Tim Whittle from Devon. Very impressed with these. They're dark peters and I'm really looking forward to fishing these now in the summer. They just have eat me written all over them for sea trout. Of course, my box isn't very uh, tidy, you know. It's all over the place. Uh, 
Yeah, another one that was tied up there by a friend of mine from Kerry. Mick Barry, thank you. Yellow Peril. Great sea trout fly. Caught plenty of sea trout in that. And uh, Nathan. Nathan Richards from Wales. Thank you, buddy. Look at that. There's a kind of a secret weapon at the back, triple hook at the back. Because uh, sea trout, they usually nip the backs of the hooks at the very end of the tail. And this one has a single hook down in the centre. And then that little treble in the back. Of course, I have the butcher. It's a great little sea trout fly. Another one by Mick Barry. Kind of got, kind of got a bit of orange there in the centre, and. Uh, very nice wing. So guys, uh, they were my boxes of salmon and sea trout flies. I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, this was only a short video. just wanted to kind of show you what I had in my fly boxes for salmon and sea trout. So um, if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel. Give my video a like. And I'll be talking to you soon. Tight lines.